Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today we're going to return to the format where you solve the quick cryptic and I'm just going to provide a bit of help as we go. Um, so get your, get your solving pen out and um, here we go. We'll have a look at today's quick cryptic. One across. What brings us milder weather and a huge opening flower? Um, now there I think we're looking at what brings us milder weather as the definition. Um, actually, no, I'm going to admit I don't know quite how a huge opening flower or possibly flower. Um, now there we go. Okay, so we're looking for a word. Flower, when you see it in a crossword clue, can often be a river because you can read it as flower, something that flows. So here we're looking for a huge opening followed by a river or flower, and that'll be what brings us mild or weather. So the huge opening will be the first four letter word, the flower will be the six letter word, and the whole thing will be a four letter and six letter phrase for what bring us, and I think that means Britain particularly, mild or weather. So pause if you need to, and the answer is Gulf Stream. Gulf being a huge opening and the, mar and the flower being a stream. So always worth remembering when you see flower in a clue, it could easily be one of many flowers, but it could also be one of many rivers, and here it was a stream only. One down, coiling up, python constricts small fish. So we're looking for something that is constricted by the words coiling up python and means a small fish. And when I say constricted, I mean compressed by them, somehow within them. So the answer is guppy, because if you look in the middle of the phrase coiling up python, you can see the letters G-U-P-P-Y, and a guppy is a small fish. So let's have a look at this long one down. Five and seven begins with an L. Pilot ran tour potentially here in Bedfordshire. Question mark. So it's looking very much like an anagram of pilot ran tour. So we need a place that is in Bedfordshire, probably. Five and seven begins with an L, anagram of pilot ran tour. So have a go at that. And the answer is Luton Airport, made famous by Lorraine Chase in um, Campari adverts long ago. Obviously famous for its own role anyway. So three down, miss a place to put the rubbish. So we're looking for just two possible definitions here. A word four letters long beginning with S that can mean miss and it can also mean a place to put the rubbish. So pause if you need to and the answer is skip. Quite a neat double definition there. And four down, sell track again, question mark. So this time we're looking for a word that can mean sell, six letters beginning with R, but the question mark means something funny is going on here. And uh, theoretically, this could mean to track again, to follow someone for a second time. So have a think, see if you can justify any of the possible definitions you might know for sell. And the answer is retail because you can imagine a private eye perhaps retailing a suspect. To tail is to follow someone. So five down, a toff and a saint into the bargain. So we're looking for a phrase that's two, four, two, and probably means into the bargain. So something that means extra. And it can somehow break down as a toff and a saint. And the answer is as well as. So a swell is an old word for a posh person or a top. And a saint is a s at the end. Saint, remember, can be abbreviated either to st, which is what we normally see in the language, I guess, or s. And uh, that's certainly worth remembering in crossword clues. So we'll go to eight across. Got all the letters to this. You may be able to guess the word just from the letters in the grid. Seven letters. Nationalist is glib about three things. 
So the whole word is going to mean a nationalist, and we need a word, short word for glib about something meaning three things. And the answer is patriot. So pat, if you have something of pat or you're very pat in speaking to somebody, it can mean you're glib. And a trio is three, three things. Quite a neat container there. Um, nine across is an enormous, well, enormous creature, wide and robust. Well, we know that W can be wide, so it's quite likely that we're looking for an enormous creature made up of W and a word for robust. So think of an enormous creature beginning with W, see if the rest of it can mean robust, and the answer is whale, where hail, as in hail and hearty, can mean robust. So, ten across, pull someone across the pond. Double definition again, four letters, Y something, N something, and it can mean either to pull or someone across the pond. So the answer is quite straightforwardly, yank. So we're using the pond as the Atlantic there in the phrase across the pond. Clearly, this puzzle is very much set in Britain with uh, the Gulf Stream, Luton Airport, and Yanks being across the pond, but that's what we get used to. 11 across. Idle kids, awfully unpopular. So it's clearly going to be an anagram of idle kids, that awfully screaming anagram. And the whole answer is going to mean unpopular. You've got an I and an L in second and fourth place. We're looking for an eight-letter word. And the answer is disliked. So we'll carry on with the acrosses. Europeans pronounced stoop. Five letters with an I in the middle. So we're looking for either a European or a stoop. That's the answer. Five letters with an I in the middle. And what it's going to do, pronounced, means that it's going to sound like the other one. So we would need a word for a European and a word for a stoop. They have to sound the same. One of them will fit. See if you can figure out the answer. This isn't the easiest one we've come to. The answer is Dane, which obviously a Dane, D-A-N-E, can be a person from Denmark, a European. Um, and stoop. How can Dane mean stoop? Well, if you deign to do something, you stoop to do it. You lower yourself to do something. It, they, I think one can be used for the other in a metaphorical sense. 14 across. Needle and lead, or lead, missing from PA system. Now there, lead missing from is a very clear crossword indication. So you're going to take the first letter of a six-letter word meaning PA system and you'll be left with a word meaning needle and five letters. Now, there's not that many words for a PA system especially if we assume it is a public announcement system rather than a personal assistance system which wouldn't really make sense. So think of a word for a PA system, take off the first letter and the answer is annoy which is tannoy without its first letter quite a neat clue because I think there's always something nice when the stress changes just by removing one letter so it doesn't be tannoy doesn't become annoy it becomes annoy 16 across panda etc trained to perform on stage so train panda etc is such a bunch of odd letters it's unlikely to refer to the whole group of bears or Chinese animals, so it's probably there for its letters, and trained can be an anagram indicator. So we're looking for an anagram of panda, etc. A phrase three hyphen three and then five with P at the end of three to perform on stage. And the answer is tap dance, which is quite a nice anagram of panda, etc. perhaps. So we've done quite well with the crosses. Now we've got some letters for the downs, and that will help us have a look at six down. Staff providing constitutional support, question mark, seven five. Well, it's quite a short clue for a longer phrase. So I think we can be fairly confident that there's not kind of an anagram plus an extra meaning so on going on. So there could either be two meanings contributing to this, or some sort of pun, especially as we've got the question mark at the end. So we're trying to think of something that could mean something like a staff, 
and it could provide support for some for either a constitution or a constitutional and that's what you think should be thinking about so see how you get on with that and the answer is walking stick because a long walk can be called a constitutional so support for your constitutional could be provided by this form of a staff which is a walking stick now seven down prime time for cutting for grass cutting it's said question mark another question mark again so presumably some sort of joke or possibility going on here and prime time it looks like the definition so see if you can think of a word meaning prime time in some sense it might not be just um, the TV sense of viewing but it could be the, the good period of something for grass cutting it said so it's going to sound like it's ah, in fact the, the definition is just prime sorry so the uh, the homophone the phrase that it sounds like means apparently time for grass cutting so the answer is heyday presumably on heyday you cut the grass um, to make hay and you, when you're in your prime you're in your heyday so that's how that one works now we'll move on to 12 down notorious mafiosi un sorted out all but one it's a bit contrived there i think we're clearly looking for a word meaning notorious there aren't many of those so that's helpful so it's got to fit with blank n blank a and four more and it's going to be an anagram we're going to have to sort out mafiosi un but that's nine letters so we need all but one not just one letter but one being i so take an i out of mafiosi un make an anagram to get notorious and you have infamous um 13 down case of fruit four inside so this time we're looking for a case in some sense now case can mean a lot of things so it might not necessarily be a suitcase type case and the wordplay is giving us a fruit with something meaning four inside so we probably need to think of a short fruit and we need to think of a short way of representing four and the answer is dative which is a grammatical case for a noun and we're putting four the roman numeral iv inside date a type of fruit 15 down writers plagiarism going in different directions and here I think we're looking for writers plagiarism as the solution as the definition for the solution um, I'm going to admit I don't know what that is straight away so well done if you've got that ahead of me excellent I'm going to go back to the across clues and have a look at that so snakes donkeys circumventing quietly well, here quietly is the musical abbreviation P for piano, and we're going to put that in the donkey to get snakes. I hope that's fairly straightforward for you. And the snakes are asps, as in Cleopatra and her asp. And the donkey is an ass, obviously. There's not many pure synonyms for a donkey. Now, 20 across miss sign question mark that's all we get v something r something o though is very helpful now thank goodness we got all those downs and uh, clearly a double definition it can mean miss in some way and it can mean sign in some way and the answer is virgo now that's a sign in the sense of a sign of the zodiac why is it a miss well it's not just a miss it's a sign of a miss so it's a miss sign the, the whole clue is acting as a cryptic definition that wouldn't mislead you by suggesting the clue on it the, the answer on its own could mean miss but the virgo being a virgin could be a miss meaning a kind of unmarried woman now 21 across yours truly is opposed to style ultimately fancy well there we have to look at yours truly is likely to be the definition now, opposed to style we're looking probably for short words meaning opposed or opposed to and style 
ultimately fancy is likely to be the letter Y being the word fancy in its ultimate position. So ultimately fancy is likely to be a Y at the end of this. Um, and yours truly is likely to be the definition either in the sense of myself or in the sense of um, how you sign off a letter. Um, and again, I don't know the answer myself, so we'll do something else and come back to that with a bit more help, hopefully. 22 across, Dickie East took chances with a star. Now here, there's a bit of a combination of stuff going on. We're looking for Dicky is, is a very clear indicator of an anagram. If some, somebody feels Dicky, they're not well, so we're looking for East to be anagrammed at the start, and we have an S in place, second letter. Then we need something that means took chances, and the whole thing put together is going to mean with a star. So have a think about that, and I hope you came up with asterisked. Now, it's not maybe with the sort of star you were imagining, but it does mean with a star. Risked is the word for took chances following an anagram of East. Quite a neat clue, but um, we'll have a look at 15 down now. And we're back to writer's plagiarism going in different directions. So I think now we're looking for a writer as the definition. That's better. And plagiarism, we need some short word for plagiarism. And it goes in two different, probably compass directions. So have a think about that. If you've got it before, you don't need any more thought. If you haven't got it before and if you haven't got it now, the answer is scribe, where crib is the plagiarism. And that's going in two different directions, south and east, to make scribe a writer. Not a specific writer, but a fairly general writer. 18 down, horse is put outside the field, finally. And there we're just looking at final letters. So have a look at the final letters of the clue. And we're looking for a horse. Begins with S, ends with D, five letters. And the answer is steed, because the final letters of is put outside the and field are S-T-E-E-D. So again, it's quite a neat disguise for the final letters of those of words in the clue there. Now, let's try 19 down, because we didn't like 21 across before. Now we have a look at this. Little monkey sampling shark oil at regular intervals. What a strange vision that conjures up. But once you see the word regular or regularly in a clue, it so often means take every other letter in some part of this clue. And shark oil is such a clearly contrived phrase that... I think we're looking at every other letter of charcoal. It ends in an I, so we're looking at the odd-numbered letters. And the little monkey, who is effectively sampling that shark oil at regular intervals, is Saki. Now, I wouldn't have sworn to you that that was a monkey, but it's such a clear bit of wordplay that I think we're, we can be absolutely certain about that. I know Saki is the um, short story writer from the early 20th century, but uh, clearly it's a breed of monkey as well, or a species of monkey, I should say. And finally, we go back to 21 across. Yours truly is opposed to style, ultimately fancy. Well, I told you before that ultimately fancy was going to give you a Y, and I got that wrong. Style, ultimately, is going to give you an E, and fancy is the definition for the answer. So we need a word that can mean fancy to fit here. I something A, something I something E. And somehow it's going to be yours truly and opposed to and the letter E is being style ultimately. And that's something you've got to work out, watch out for in crossword clues is being misled into thinking the first thing you think of and sticking with it. You've got to be prepared to change sometimes. And the answer here is John Legend's John Lennon's famous hit, Imagine, where yours truly is opposed to, can translate to I'm again, again being the kind of old version of against and still sometimes in use in a jocular sense. And then style ultimately, as we said, provides the E. So there we are. Well done. You've finished the uh, Times Quick Cryptic along with me and very grateful for your company and hope you enjoyed the ride. Well done. Hope to see you again soon and um, 
good solving.